Perk. Ah. Ooh, ooh. Mm, I'm, I'm good. I just gotta get my feet together. And then I want to go. Oh, you skip that diddly D. I'll say, uh, I'll say, you uh, skip that diddly D. Everything you want. Oh, look. Just go grab me. Oh, my legs. Oh, my legs. Oh, in my jeans. My legs and my jeans. Is there any room for me back on that stage? I'll say you skip that diddly dee. Skip that diddly dee. In those jeans. Now what in the haberdashery and hemoglobin is going on here? Oh, First of all, his shoes was out of there. Then he had to take the whole ride down and get up with the humble shoe collection. There's so many defeats in this video. I don't mean his bare feet. And the cold part is, since his shoes abandoned him immediately, he had to keep his bare feet on that cold ice. Peep game, my man had a tasty beverage in his hand. Freshly brewed coffee. So he lost his shoes, his coffee, and he had to slide, slide, slippity slide all the way down to the street. I hope at least it was a check in that mailbox to make it all worth it. Cause it would just suck if all that was in that mailbox was utilities, some grocery store coupons that you'd never use, and an East Bay magazine. Peep his pose on the slide down like he just sitting on the beach watching the sunset. Peep after he humbly picks up that second shoe, he just squats down and just reflects on every piece of his life. Now what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin and crematorium prep is going on here? Now they're getting slow roasted massage. Now what the drums doing? Who, who was the first person they tested this out on to see if it worked? Many people got cooked out here just to test this method out. I'm sure it smelled like crackling pork rinds in there. Now mind you, in theory, in visual, it's been many a chilly night where I wanted my blanket to do this very thing. Like a roasted blanket? Oh, it's got to feel fantastic. Because I know what it feels like when you put a blanket on when it's fresh out the dryer. But this, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You're going to have me looking like Ghost Rider at night. I don't know. Is that a real body in there, though? Is that a real person getting cooked? I don't know, because they ain't moving. Now, you put the hot, you put the fiery blanket on me, I might roll off the table and jump out the window, man. I don't know, man. Give me your goddamn drums. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? James Harden. James goddamn Harden, man. You trolling us at this point. You are trolling. That's why you're laughing, man. You can't even hold it together because you know what you got on is utter ridiculousness, man. You walking around in the sordid bath towel with the leather interior and accessories. I can smell the body wash. I was looking for you when I got out the shower today so I could dry off. Pause. No, man, no pause. Press play. You know you look like a bath towel. You don't even hang that outfit in the closet. You hang it on the bathroom rack. I, who... Who's coming up with this as an outfit, as an ensemble? He's rocking an ensemble. This is not an outfit. This is not clothing. It's an ensemble. And I know, I know he played lights out basketball last night. He put the work in. Now, let me tell you something. If I had to dress like this for the premium optimal success in my field, I would wear some ridiculous shit as well. I would show up in a hot air balloon. As an outfit. I would show up to the game dressed like a sniper when they be wearing that shit to make them look like foliage. I'm showing up in that. And I'm going to have real foliage on. I can't wait to see the next ensemble. Speaking of ensemble, ensemble your ass to the Kansas City Improv this weekend. Five shows, one Thursday, two Friday, two Saturday. None of them are sold out. Get your tickets. Oh, where does a player like myself begin? They got this whole piece of wide open for your boy? Yeah, let me go on here and give me a portion of this right here. Oh, you just gonna chop my paw, huh? You know what? F*** you. How about that, huh? Mm-hmm. That chicken looking kind of interesting. Smelling. Smelling kind of interesting, too. I think I need to, uh, I think I just need to get on in here and just get a close-up. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, I ain't want nothing anyway. I was just stretching. How? Hmm? 
And why? Hmm? And how? And why? Hey, man, hmm? Lincoln, Celeste was out here choosing, and I just accepted the choice. You feel why? me? Why? Hey, hey, don't get papped up now. Come on. Look at yourself sitting there on your high human thinking you better than me. Well, I'm going to be sitting here looking dead at you until you realize that you ain't no better than me. When you come down to my level, I'm going to slap you right on up. Oh, yeah, I'm going to catch him slipping as soon as he come in that door. I'm going to be like, man, what you doing coming hey, in here? Skip, 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 pat. Yeah. Oh, you right. tough? Skip, 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 pat. Let that be a lesson. Bro. Ooh, a fresh batch. Let me dip my paw. Come here. Get, my, get over here. Yeah, you got to slide the cookie over. And you got to ever so gently listen to the chocolate chip cookie. You got to listen to it. You know, peek over the side. Then you got to look around, play it off like you ain't after the cookies. Then you dip your paw back up in there. Come here. Come here, see? See, then from the side, you, you make eye contact. Come here. Come over here. Yeah, real quick. Mm. Yep. Then you got to make eye contact with the chocolate chip cookie from the side. And then you grab it one last time. Now it's off the table. It's mine. You won't break it up, man. He's sitting there calling me Sam's Club. See? Hey, I'm going to grab the hose. Come on, I'm going to grab the hose, man. Come here. Let's just call my dog. Hey, mind your business, man. Oh, y'all tough. I'm here a whole hog trying to eat some dog. Jump. There ain't no fish out here. Mm, all them cornflakes, man. Mm. Hey, put the frosted flakes down, man. Frosted flakes are kidding. Hey, man, what's up? Hey, we stay up. You know what I'm saying? Stay up. Early to bed, early to rise. You know what I'm talking about? What nobody sleep out here? You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my vocals the rest they need. Yeah, out here trying to steal my job, man. Hey, hey, man. Cornflakes don't leave for everybody. And he said your mother drinks cat litter water. You're going to. Oh, okay. I'll tell him what you said. Okay, midnight. Sunrise just said, oh, okay, all right. Sunrise just said that even though you're a black cat, you're so soft that when you cross people's paths, you actually give them good luck. That's how soft you are. Are you going to take that? Oh, okay, okay. Are you going to take that, midnight? Are you going to take that? All right? I thought you were a warrior. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The fight of the century. The claws are out and the catnip is put away. It's savagery going on here, people. Oh, my God. Oh, they fell off the roof, guys. They fell off the roof, but the fight continues on. Oh, my God. This is tremendous. In all my years of birddom, I have never seen this much ferocity out here. This is crazy. This is biblical. These cats are, oh, my God. They fell again, people. They fell again. Surprise, are we gonna talk about that rematch between you and Midnight? Nah. Why not? You gotta give the people what they want out here. You gotta give them the rematch. You never thought about that? Come on. Nope. You know, this is why people love dogs more than cats. Man. Stop! What? I'm saying though, y'all just don't know how to get Hey, hey, hey! I'm not gonna sit up here and listen to this from you. Oh, oh wow, well, he's Mr. Tough Guy now, huh? Shut the bird down on the balcony. You know what? You just stay up here and just be Mr. Tough Guy when nobody's around. Meanwhile, Midnight beat you and you're scared to give him the rematch. But hey, what the hell do I know? You oh, know I can't stand this dude. Hey, I only have the bird's eye view, you know what I'm saying? Not another thing. It really says a lot. Oh, uh, I'm a bird. No, no, no. I'm a bird that's not scared of a cat. That says a whole lot about how soft you really are. You're softer than tapioca pudding ankles out here, man. Look at you. Hush. Oh, damn. No, no, it's all facts. It's all facts. Ooh, Herschel, man. This hole gonna work, man. The integrity of this hole underneath the wall, and then once we get on the other side of the wall, bow. We in the community living life to the fullest, baby. Hey, Herschel, man, come get in on this, man. You know what I'm saying? This hole ain't gonna dig itself. Oh, what's up, y'all? Uh, y'all got some ground squirrels down here. They gonna tear up the yard. Hey, Herschel, man, get your snitching eyes off my back. Every time. Now get the hell out of here, snips. I ain't agree. None of these snips, man. Get on, man. I don't, I don't like the snips, man. Get, the, get these snips as a body. Just get the snips as a body here, man. I don't trust this dude, Cordell, man. Hey, don't let him shake in front of you. Get him, Cordell. Get him. You, don't look at me. Man, get up on my face, Scotty, man. Go on. Scotty, stop it. I'm tired, man. Mm. Look at my lips, remind me of that fool I once had. That's the tail room. Hey, man, skibbity sk sk pat. What's wrong with you? Oh, oh damn. Man. Hey, my tail ain't made for chewing, but my paws is made for papping. You understand me? Man, find you. Come over here. I want to show you something. Come closer. Man, get your ass away from my cat tree. Hey, back up, Curtis, man. Oh. Yeah, let that pap sit in your soul for a while, man. Get your paws together and reflect. Hey, Curtis, why 
Watch you step outside, let me holler at you real quick, playboy. I'll be out here waiting. Man, go on, Scotty. You a hoe, Curtis. Yeah, Scotty is weirding me out, man. Oh, man. Curtis, I heard myself out here. Come out here and help me, man. Please. Why you ain't come help me, Curtis? Because you got your little human friends back here with the camera. Then bring your ass outside. Get these fresh skibbity paps. Yeah, I got you now. I got you dead direct. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, mm, got a little force field. Oh, you laughing? What, what we laughing at? T tell me what we laughing at. And ask yourself this. Will we both find it funny? Hmm? Ooh, I think these feet stink. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I knew it. Y'all smelling this? Ooh. Now, what in the haberdashery is the hemoglobin is going on? Lazy shoe polish, cold as sack smear campaign. He just lathered up a ball of shoe polish and slid it down the middle like a goddamn bowling ball. He smoothed out the front, even though it's an uneven hairline, but he was just, for the back, it was just pure smear. And look at how flimsy the back of the smear is. It's like light, like he didn't even thicken the back, man. It is, it's loose back there. Kind of ashy, if you will. Look at how thick and robust and the intensity integrity of the front of it is and then he just ran out of polish towards the back. I see Scout peeking out from the underneath. If you gon' go the shoe polish route, you can't have no skin bursting forth from the underneath. Then defeat the whole purpose of the shoe polish itself. And then you make the hair foliage around the shoe polish look even more pronounced because you didn't thicken up the entire shoe polish radius. And I get it. He was probably in a hurry. He on the train right now. And, you know, judging by that suit, he might be an alderman or, or councilman somewhere. But doing a lackluster shoe polish job like this, you disrespect your constituents. Come on, man. We need to relather here. Yeah, baby girl. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me? You got a lot of stress in your back, girl. Let me smooth out the stresses in your life. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? After I smooth out your stresses, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we can get in some stress pumps. Right, let me go ahead and pinch off a couple of kernels. You know what I'm saying? Oh! You know what? Let me just go ahead and reflect. Damn it. What y'all want to do? Hey, yo, Tubbs, they out here talking smack. Hey, man, get your human-looking paw off my face. Man, I'm about to give them that furless nudity stretch. Yeah, that'll show them all skin, player. Almost got a guy. Yeah, jackpot. Hey, fellas, get in here, man. Stevie, Stevie. Get in there, grab the kibbles and bits, man. Hey, yo, Chucky, man, grab the sausages. Chris, Chris, get in there and grab the lettuce. You know how I get down. Ladies, man, back up. You know what it is. You know what? I think this box is really... Oh, yeah, it smells great, man. Got the little opening right here. I think this box is really going to work out. It's cozy. It's got a nice little nestle feel that I'd like to enjoy. Oh, oh, oh hey, now. Oh. I like the way this box closes. It's like a nice fern feel. I can sit on this box and it can carry my weight. Oh, oh, wait. I think I heard something in it. Yeah, man, I like the way this box moves. It's like a little booty pop on the box, too. I like that. It's almost like there's somebody in here. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, y'all. Hey, I do not have no time for no horseplay. I am I am running late. I done farted around. I'm running late up in here. You know what I'm saying? Hey, where, where's my uh, where's my facial cleanser? Where, where's my facial cleanser at, y'all? Y'all always moving stuff, man. And where's my deep conditioner for my mane? Where's it, man? Y'all keep moving stuff, man. I know horses like to run, but I do not like running late. Where's my stuff, y'all? You hear that baby crying? That selfish baby over there? Look at my ears, how they cock back. It's because you couldn't keep your raggedy legs closed, Katrina. Hmm? I smell treachery. I smell treachery going on in here. Let me see what the who, who is in my bed. I can smell kitten treachery all over this. <laughs> yeah, I want you to hear that hiss in your little punk dreams. All cozy like you belong. I got some cozy paps down here when you wake up. I'm sick of y'all, crying, yeah, enjoy life in another dimension, multiverse looking ass, <laughs> oh, you want to go to another planet, <laughs> crying, let me know how Mars was, crying, <laughs> that's what y'all want out here, <laughs> oh, 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 Chet's a tough guy, huh, <laughs> crying, I'll give you what you want, Chet, who else wants something, y'all some idiots out here waiting for the concussion, huh, what's up, Hank, you want a piece, <laughs> what's up, good people, this is Crimey Davis Jr., and these guys are idiots. Ain't no other way to slice it. 
They wanted this work, and I gave them full-time employment. Hmm? Creeping on the combo, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What's up, Curtis? I'm sick of you, Scotty. Sitting up here looking soft in the corner next to the cleaning products. You lucky I can't skateboard back. Tarantulas, this is what we're not gonna do. You not about to sit up here and be growling. Y'all, y'all already terrifying enough. You won. 99.86% of the human population is already terrified of you. All you got to do is stand there and we done. Oh Lord, this is tarantula, man. Grab the, get the, mama, mama. Your mama been dead for 15 years and you're calling her. That's how terrified we are. That's just you standing still, tarantula. You, if you start moving, oh Lord Jesus Christ, get the, get the pistol, get the pistol. And if a tarantula starts running, that's just cardiac arrest, stroke, aneurysm, instant death on our part. Growling is just over the top. Growling tarantulas is over the top, Tara. A new nightmare has been activated. I ain't never gonna forget that sound. The growling tarantulas. That sound like an indie rock band, man. God damn it, tarantulas. Just, you're just being greedy, tarantulas. You want to monopolize terror. You was already hissing. Now you want to growl too? Man, come on, man. You want to add growling to your scary ass repertoire? I'm sick of y'all. Now, what in the haberdasheries and the hemoglobin was going on here? Fisticuffs and pieces was distributed in epic fashion down in Alabama. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen these videos already. They're all over my goddamn timeline. I'm not posting the video because I don't want the community guidelines snatching shit off my page. And then they're going to have me in the timeout section of Instagram where all my algorithms is messed up. They're going to have me in the corner. I'm not having it this time. So y'all getting steals, okay? Now, I wasn't going to do any commentary on this video because this video and the commentary and the memes is all over my goddamn timeline and normally i just sit in the bushes when it's just overload but i just had to say my piece real quick my biggest thing in this brawl was not was not the folding chair over the head it was this when this man took his hat off and threw it into another dimension i thought he was about to go to work when you remove your hat in theatrical fashion like this here you gotta match that energy with the pieces instead he got worked over more thoroughly with no hat on he was losing the one-on-one -on -one, and then he got jumped and that's when all hell broke loose I don't want to lose a fight to somebody that got slides on raw toad. Because that means I'm going to see your toes wiggling while you're piecing me out. At some point in the fisticuffs, I'm going to look down and see your toes wiggling during the fisticuffs. And that's going to hurt my soul a little bit. And that's when the black community really came together like toes crammed into a shoe that don't fit. There was segregated pieces going on all throughout the goddamn dock of the bay. Otis Redding would have been like, pieces on the dock of the bay, roll tide. There was people out here slipping and sliding, getting pieced up, pieced out, sliding, slipping. People coming up out of their crocs, just toes busting loose on the crocs, slipping and falling, grabbing, trying to push the cops. The cops shoving people down, people getting knuckle sandwiched on boats. It was chaos. It was pandemonium. It was beautiful. And the goddamn folding chair was the cherry on top. Well, let's get it cracking. Shit, let's get it popping, man. What we doing? Now first thing first, let me leave with the preface That I'm talking about breakfast And I got hella food on my checklist And my parents can respect this Now second of all, I don't want no drama And that's word to my mama But she gonna miss me with all that gerba Cause I'm ready to murder The hard snacks cause I got teeth on tap Straight up and down like that Last night, I peed in my onesie But I'm still number one G Now back to the snacks, back to the raps now what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin and I'm having a badass day and I want to go back to bed is going on here. You got this, buddy. No, he's going to make it. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> you tried. Gear Bear. You okay? Where are you? No. He's mad. Drowning? No. no. Come on, buddy. No. Come here. No. Come here. No. Come here and let me dry you. Listen, Gary has had it with this whole goddamn day and everybody in it. You hear me? Now, I know y'all probably expected me to do the voiceover from the perspective of the cat, but this video was already too funny on its own, man. Gary said all that needed to be said. Gary was already stressed out. He was already stressed out. He was on the dock of the bay, stressed. You can hear him in his meow. Wow. Well, you heard the stress. You can hear the, the stress in them tones. But when he fell off the dock, when he when he did a little slight cover to skip that diddly D into that little murky ass water, Gary was done. Gary's meows was even more so like, damn it! No! No! No, man! Sick of this! Now he under the dock of the bay and bear, he's embarrassed. That's why he down there. Wow! Man, I'm so sick of them. This right here is a mosquito hawk, a.k.a. a crane fly. And they are just out here in full force with the booty shorts on. Man, sit y'all asses down. As soon as I open my little side garage door, they just come busting up in the garage. Man, sit down. Luckily, I got the cats, and the cats usually catch them and then just eat them. I saw Midnight eat one of these the other day because it just came up in the living room from the front door. Chill. Now, some people mistake these for big ass mosquitoes, but they are not mosquitoes. And even though they're called mosquito hawks, they don't actually eat mosquitoes. They don't eat anything. Can you imagine if these really were mosquitoes and they were just coming for your blood? Man, you would be a mummy by morning. Now, on the Google's worth, they say they're most active in, in early to mid-April. So I guess they out here for tax season. Like, you, you do your taxes, you do your taxes. Stop busting up in my crib, man. I'm sick of y'all. Now, I know you ain't up there eating when it's still ain't no food up in my dish. You ain't, you don't own. Oh, dang, you had the whole setup going. You had the food, the size, the drinks, the TV show. My bad. Let's go there, Playboy. Let's go there, Playboy. Put your beard in, man. man get, get, that, get, get that out of here, man. Get that gluten-free ass shot up out of here, man. How about that, man? No gluten-free shots in my house, baby. Let's go. Right, let's see what else you got. Let's see what else you got, because that last shot wasn't working. Man, you know what's making me this ball, man? I'm snatching purses out here, man. You know what mm -hmm. I mean. Bon appetit. I am the ancient tree, and I like basketball too, man. Get that shot out of here, young man. Man, what's up now, man? You need to get easy work tatted on your back, Playboy. Easy work, man. Graveyard shift. Let's go, Playboy. Let's go, man. Your D is soft like toddler thighs, baby. You got that soft D, man. Erectile dysfunction. Let's go, man. Come on. Haberdasheries. All right, Playboy, you trying to salvage what manhood you got left? Bless your heart, man. Bless your heart. Let me squall in your face like a porn star, man. You feel that, man? Got your shirt off like you putting in work, man. Put your shirt back on and clock out, man. You ain't doing nothing out here, Playboy. Oh, yeah. I see what's going on in here. I'm watching every move y'all make up in here. Oh, yeah. I'm taking it in. And I'm checking it out. Now, what in the haberdasheries and hemoglobin is going on here? Look, look sea urchins, cat, people eating camels. I never eat the whole, five million horses? Y'all just, 10 million cats? Oh, God. Tilapia, I don't even think that's a real fish, but you know, that's neither here. Yep, snail, oh, that's escargot. Dogs, 25 million, y'all eating just regular pigeons out here? About a millions? Wait, who eating guinea pigs? When did this... Y'all eating a hundred million sharks? I ain't even know it was a hundred million sharks in population. Cows are pretty low. Lamb is beating cows? Why they do the lobster like that? They just threw them off to the side. Man, turkeys. That's a lot of turkeys. That's a lot of salmon. The tuna, 900 million? Rabbits like that? Pigs, 1.5 billion. I'm not surprised. Two billion octopus? Really? And oysters? Y'all eating that many geese and ducks? 2.9 billion? Shrimp, I kind of get because they're so small. You know what I'm saying? Sardines is popping like this. 75 billion shilkins? Wow, this was eye-opening, man. I'm not surprised that chickens being number one, but that many cats and dogs and horses? Y'all just really out here. It's time for something to eat us, though, man.
We consuming too many animals for us not to be getting eaten as well. Where y'all at, man? Who gonna eat us? Where y'all at? Let's change the game. Give me a five. Nah, I don't do those. Give me a five. Come on, girl. Just let me stand here and look stoic. You know what? Here. Is that what Thanks. you want? Hey, let me ask you this. What'd you have for breakfast this morning, huh? Hey, man, I didn't have breakfast, man. Didn't what have breakfast? What the hell is going on here, man? Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, man. Get some cornflakes in your life, man. You can't have me out mixed with breakfast, man. This guy's crazy. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You're an animal out here. An animal. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get it, man. I've been working it, man. I've been working and weaving and getting my skibbity paps together. You're not ready for this. What's going on in here? Take off, bud. Nah, man, let me take off on, on your refrigerator. Your cupboards, go. if you will. I'm not really right. ready to go, man. Let me see what you got no. going on up in here, man. That oh, way. Oh, go that way, huh? Man, you know what? Go I'm going to head this way, but only because I want go to. On. You know what I'm talking about? You feel me, man? I don't really. Whoa. Whoa. Get out of here. You got a lot of bass in your go. clothes, man. You think you're tough. You're talking to me like your shirt is off, man. Let me go tell on. you something. I'll rip your nipples off, man. This ain't the Jungle Book. I ain't Blue, man. I'm, I'm Grizzly Peterson out here, man. The Revenant. Don't play with me. Get. Oh, get. Let me get what you got. Go man. on. Go on, man. You say go on too much, man. You watch too much Dragon Ball Z. Go on, man. Let me get up in that refrigerator and see if you got some honey get. and salmon in there. And why are you all, why you all over the house? Where your job at? Whew, all right, now get up in there. Get up in there good, tree. Get up in there. Whoa, whoa. Those tree fibers in my back. Whoo. That's what I'm talking about, Shelby. That's what I'm talking about, shorty. Get up in the... the whoo! The, the bare necessity back crevices. Whoo! Man. Whoo! You work the J tree. Ah! Now, hold on now, youngster. Don't be recording me while I'm making my webs now. You know, I don't like people seeing how I make my webs. You know what I'm saying? You youngsters out here putting everything on camera nowadays. You know, I make the best webs in December because I look like Santa Claus. Hey, hey, cut the camera off.